Now here's the crazy part. Good morning, good afternoon, family. How are you? They said we want a revolution. Well, you know. Uh, it's what we need. It is what we need. This is an insane story that I can barely believe. The nerve of Brett Favre threatening to sue Umar Johnson if he continues to speak about him stealing money from the poor people of Mississippi. Well, listen, you might as well start trying to get to the whole black community. Don't you think you did enough damage? Huh? You think... Umar Johnson is the only one making videos of, and, and talking about you? You're a crook, allegedly, and you're no good. And, and because you got caught with your hands in the cookie jar, now, the, now you're really showing how much a coward you are. Okay, you were a coward back when you tried to stop uh, Sterling Sharp from getting his money. I remember. I'm from Wisconsin, okay? I used to be your favorite fan. Now I'm like, what a dirty man. What an opportunist that would do something like this to the poor community. How dare you? So now, uh, we here's the story. Brett Favre sought Governor Tate's read to help to get the state to funds to pay for a volleyball facility that the former NFL star had vowed to personally fund at his alma mater. And according to the text messages from the Mississippi Free Press obtained through public records requests. Okay, in 2017, before Reeves was governor, the Mississippi Department of Human Services directed $5 million in TANF money. Okay, um, which is temporary assistance for needy families, welfare funds to build a volleyball facility at the University of Southern Mississippi. You don't get no worse than that. Favre's alma mater. You are a horrible human being. If that's what they want to call you. Anybody that does this to the poor. That is rich. Oh, my God. Oh no, your your day of reckoning gotta come, and I hope people put keep their foot on your neck. You got the nerve to want to sue somebody? His daughter Brayley Favre was a starting volleyball center at USM that year, but even after getting help from MDHS officials, the celebrity athlete still owed the university at least one point six million for the project upon its completion in January twenty twenty. On January 26, 2020, Favre sent a text to former Governor Phil Bryant, who had just left the job weeks earlier, asking if he could think of anyone or any other way of getting the funds for the funding the remainder of the volleyball. <coughs> okay? <coughs> Bryant revealed those text messages in September court filings as part of a civil case over misspent TANA funds. I don't understand how this is a criminal. This is not a criminal case. Case, Civil case? Boy, y'all, you know what? A day of reckoning is coming for you evildoers. It really is. In the message, Bryant told Farr that the state auditor was still conducting an investigation into spending the Department of Human Services and that he may need to visit Lieutenant Governor Delbert Holzman and Rees, then the new governor, to seek funding from the legislature. I just sent a Tate a message, Favre told him. These are your words. These are your texts. And now you want to sue Umar Johnson? Are you kidding me? The text messages from Governor Reed's office that Umar Johnson is speaking of and the whole uh, black community, because, of course, the mainstream media doesn't want to give this much credence, okay? Because they want to protect you. It's called white privilege. 
the text messages that Governor Reeves' office sent in response to the publication's public records text uh, for text between him and Favre. However, do not include any text on January 26th. Ain't that something? The first one in the batch of documents is dated January 27th at 1149. The Mississippi Free Press asked the governor's office about the discrepancy on Wednesday, but has not received a response yet. Hey, bud, we set to talk today at 2, Todd said. Favre wrote to Reeves in the uh, 1st January 27 text. It is not clear who Todd is. Reeves replied with the thumbs up emoji. At 12.01, Favre asked Reeves if he was free to talk. Yes, sir, Reeves replied. Another text from Favre to Reeves later that afternoon makes it abundantly clear that the two discussed the volleyball facility during their phone call. Now, I'm unsure how Favre discovered that Dr. Umar had been speaking about him. Still, he had his lawyers send a letter to Dr. Umar Johnson telling him not to destroy evidence of him speaking on Favre because they are considering suing him. Go up and down YouTube. Pull them all out. Not just Umar Johnson. Pull out the white uh, journalists that are very displeased with your character and what you have done as well. Pull out... Uh, 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 footage from the Young Turks. Pull out any other footage besides Umar Johnson if you want to sue somebody. Talking about defamation of character. You did it. They got the damn Texas with your conversation. Oh. Anyway. I assume... I mean, it would be a hard case to prove considering Favre's character is already in the trash can. Okay. I mean, you already in the trash can. Uh, we have been retained by Brett Favre. Dear Mr. Johnson, this is from Casawis Benson Torres, LLP. Uh, we have been retained by Brett L. Favre to investigate potential legal claims against you arising from certain public statements you have made about Mr. Favre. If you have legal counsel in connection with this matter, please forward this communication to them. In view of this investigation and potential litigation, we hereby demand that you preserve and not destroy conceal alter or otherwise spoliate any and all documents and information in your possession, control, or custody, regardless of where such documents and information reside, including without limitation electronic files and other data genera generated by and or stored on computers, storage media, and other electronic devices. Emails, voicemails, text messages, tweets, social media posts that refer or relate in any way to any of your public statements about Mr. Favre since May 4th, 2020. You are a joke. You are a joke. Failure to comply with this notice or otherwise to preserve such documents and information or other relevance uh Relevant evidence may result in our clients seeking sanctions and other relief against you for the spoliation of actual potential evidence should any litigation arise. Listen, nothing contained in or omitted from this letter is a waiver of any of our clients' rights and remedies, all of which are express reserved. You know... <clears throat> This is how you know you are ain't shit, man. This is how you know that. Because you have been caught with your hands in the cookie jar. 
Instead of dealing with your transgressions and what you've done and walking face to face with your madness like and being held accountable like black people have to be every day of our lives, your privilege is allowing you to now want to sue somebody for telling the truth about you. So you want to go after Dr. Umar Johnson because he's a prominent black man who speaks and he got the ear of the people and he's speaking about you. How dare you? How dare you? Brett Favre. Oh, my God. I, I can't believe you. Not only... Like I said, I was an adamant fan. I even had a friend who was on, on tour with Deanna Favre. And um, speaking of their cancer. And, um, you know, now you have tainted your whole family. Brittany, uh, Braley, who, you, you, you're, the ta you're the tainter. You're an embarrassment. You will steal money from poor people in Mississippi. To pay for a volleyball field. And you've made over. Man, we don't even want to count it over in endorsements that you've made. But you want to sue Umar Johnson. Anyway, that article was written by Robert Little. <laughs> Brett Favre, you are a joke. I hope they take you out of the Hall of Fame, personally. If Pete Rose had to come out the Hall of Fame, you need to come out the Hall of Fame. Because what you did is worse than what, uh, in my opinion, is worth, worse than what Pete Rose did. And you need to go. You need to be tarred and feathered, Brett Favre. The evil man that steals welfare money from the state of Mississippi. And now want to sue somebody because they don't believe in your spoiled brat behind. And they want to make you accountable for your thievery. What a joke. What a joke. Listen, I'm going to go. This is done in my comments, uh, in my commentary. I want to know what y'all think, people. I want to know. Please comment. Please comment. Please like the video. Y'all, if you don't even put a thumbs up or make a comment, I don't even know that you, you, you feeling me like that. But you there. Make a comment. Tell me what y'all think about this man. Trying to sue Umar Johnson from him stealing from the state of Mississippi. What a joke. I'll see you in the next video.